Taurus, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your weekly love reading for April 22nd to the 28th. Let's see what we have for Taurus. I'm going to pull cards from the tarot and then some love oracle cards. Spirit guides, can we please get a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 22nd to the 28th. What do we have for Taurus? Please, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 22nd to the 28th in Love and Romance. This is for Taurus. Thank you so much. What does Taurus need to know? There we go. Commitment, right? First card out, that's Taurus. That's the Hierophant represented by the sign of Taurus. So the Hierophant represents traditional values, major institutions, and things like commitment and marriage. When you see that come out in a love reading, it's commitment. And seven of pentacles is underneath that, saying showing that you're putting effort into something, into a relationship, and waiting for the right time when you get to um, connect with them. I mean, there might be distance, or it might be something where there's a temporary break or some kind of separation here, or something that requires you to wait. Seven of pentacles is waiting for the right time, waiting for the right time to make your move, or when you can can reconnect and be together again nine of swords underneath that showing sleepless nights staying up worrying ace of cups five of swords so ace of cups is a card of love self-love love offer you see this hand being offered we've got love commitment temperance underneath that but we have the the five of swords which is not a good card. Five of Swords is like some kind of winning at all costs behavior. So in love and romance, it's like there's an offer of love, but the Five of Swords is showing some kind of abuse of power, especially with Swords, which is information, speech, thought. It's speaking to some kind of unfair advantage in communication someone doing something that's it can come up for cheating lying stealing being um shady and you're in the way that somebody's approaching you with this love offer i don't know let's clarify the five of swords Spirit guys, can we please clarify the Five of Swords? What's this Five of Swords? We see the Ace of Cups being offered, the love offer. Okay, so the Two of Wands. It's like somebody's got something going on. Yeah, okay. It could be a third party situation because we see the Love Triangle here. Well, we see the, th the Three of Pentacles over here. Um, in Love and Romance, it's people working together. Or, you know, to, to for some aim here or to, or it could be a third party. Now, I see here with the Five of Swords, there's something shady going on. There's an offer of love underneath that. We have the Five of Swords. The Two of Wands is showing this person already has a wand fixed to their castle. And yet they want more. They've got the globe in their hand. They, they're looking out into the distance. They want to see what else is out there. They still have this feeling of wanting to go on adventures and um, travel or, or start in love and romance, start something new. This card comes up when you're in a relationship that you want to like see what else is out there. Maybe somebody else has piqued your interest. And then you've got the four of cups here, which shows that this person is not recognizing their ace of cups, which is right here. Spirit's offering this Ace of Cups. This cup right here is this cup. And they're focused under this tree looking at the Three of Cups, looking at the past, past relationship, something from their past that's caught, got them caught up. So it, it looks like maybe they're still interested in their ex or, you know, something from their past that's got them still, like, in their head. Can we clarify the... Um, can we clarify the two of wands? Oh, you know what? Let's do it like this. What does Taurus's person, what, what, how does Taurus's person feel about them? 
heartbreak and heartbreak and the four of pentacles justice underneath that so they feel hurt by you and yet the hopes for a reunion and healing like commitment healing reunion but how do they feel about you it says three of swords that's heartbreak loss disappointment Right, and and it can even even speak to a little bit of jealousy. Why? Because you got the four of pentacles here. It's like holding back, antisocial behavior, closed off, unreceptive, and the six of cups is showing. I'm sorry, the six of pentacles at the bottom is just like a mutually beneficial relationship, which came al along a, a, a lot during um. COVID, this is pretty shit to be honest. And then the four of wands and the temperance is showing that. There is some kind of healing going on in, in terms of a reunion, reconciliation possibly. Can we clarify this Four of Pentacles? Because the Four of Pentacles, again, is a card of greed or holding yourself precious, where the Four of Pentacles can come up when you're in a relationship and you still have a roaming eye type of thing. And we're getting this kind of vibe even here. Taurus, you're in a committed energy, but the person that you're getting this love offer from, they have like other things going on. But there's something else that's got them, yeah, see, blocking, blocking, blocking in the Page of Cups. It could be a child with an empress. Maybe children are a factor that's got them, like, thinking, second, like, you know, second guessing this. Ooh. Got King of Swords. Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So working towards some kind of goal, towards their wish fulfillment. Um, I mean, I feel like there's just somebody else from their past. See, Two of Pentacles, like it can be about balance and keeping busy. But it also can be about juggling what? Someone from their past, Six of Cups. Like this is a card of nostalgia someone from their past the king of swords is trying to make the best decision for themselves again with a third party underneath that so let's just pull some love cards just because let's clarify just to make this super clear all right this is doreen virtues romance angels what do we have here right away it came out new love healing family issues trust issues okay so we'll put that out New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, healing family issues, and there's trust issues. Hmm. Can we please clarify this relationship for a Taurus and their per All right. Right away. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Anything else? So it looks like there's some trust issues and you need to have some heart to heart conversations and let go of control issues. All right. Anything else for Taurus? Anything else for Taurus? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Mm -hmm. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life and true love. This is a romance of a lifetime, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so it's all got the same sort of theme. There's somebody here. You're getting a love offer, and it's like, it's an offer that's, it looks like, it feels like it's going to grow. Like, in, in terms of their intentions, there's a lot of distrust and heartbreak, maybe even some jealousy and bitter feelings. This person definitely is closed off, unreceptive. Like they they're holding their coins tight and they're antisocial. They 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 are picky, right? Because they're okay. Just they're distrusting, and they also have you know possibly somebody else from their past. 
that they were juggling or considering or talking to or in communication with that they haven't released yet. And so what it's saying, Taurus, is that even though you are in this very committed, spiritual, like solid energy of the Hierophant, and you're waiting with the Seven of Pentacles, um, there is the offer of love coming in. It's just something that there's red flags, there's like distrust from that person. And it's saying it could be worked through if you could be patient like, because let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold na um, naturally. It's it's speaking to you want to speed things up. You want it to get going. You're ready. You're in the higher fit mode. This person's not quite there yet. They are still holding back and still upset about things. Eventually, though, it's saying the four of wands with the temperance card, there's healing going on towards this reconciliation with the four of wands, this, you know, meeting up again, this commitment. But in the meantime, there's going to be some issues of trust. And that goes, you know, both ways. Healing family issues. And this looks like it's some kind of a new love situation. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Oh, Lord. If this is you, Taurus... If there's another person who's interested, because I'm just saying there's there's major Venus energy going on. And it's like Taurus can't like it needs to beat them off with a stick at this point. And if that's the case, and if somebody approaches you or some just let you know that your person doesn't like it and they're going to take it badly and they're going to be closed off and shut down if you're not super sensitive to this and aware. All right, let's pull another love card for Taurus. This is Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield, I think. Can we get some more clarifiers, please, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 22nd to the 28th? April 22nd to the 28th. What other messages are there for Taurus? For April 22nd to the 28th, what other messages are there for Taurus and their person? What do they need to know in love and romance? What does Taurus need to know? What guidance is there? What advice? What do they need to know for the week of the 22nd to the 28th of April? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what does Taurus need to know in their love life or their romantic life? What does Taurus need to know? 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 Okay. Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. There's the deception card. Practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. And on the bottom, love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provide a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Then we have physical touch is important. So right off the bat, we got love who you are. You're a divine and wonderful person deserving all the wonderful things that life has to offer. Very straightforward. So is this. Practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. I told you, this feels like your person is upset, heartbroken, mad, jealous, something like about something from the past. Um, there's trust issues, right? We see that there's trust issues here. And even though there's a reconciliation in the works and they have high hopes and they, they want it to, even they want it to work. You want it, you're fully in like making it work mode, but... It's saying honesty is essential. And there's a person wearing a mask. And they're approaching this person with a rose. And there's a little cherub here trying to aim their um, love arrow at this person's back. Meaning, this feels like, Taurus, like it's a new love. It's showing somebody who's not showing all their feelings, not telling you everything. It could be... A new secret admirer because you've got new love as well coming in um and no matter what happens is saying be honest 
and be mindful and be compassionate about your actions. Um, because if your person finds out about this and if there's something going on or something else that you're trying to, you know, entertain, it's going to be a messy, messy thing. It's just going to make things more difficult and prolong the torture of your seven of pentacles waiting. So let's pull one last, second last love card. I'm going to do this one and then I'll do the journey of love cards. This is Amira's love oracle. Can we get a card, please? What messages are there for Taurus for April 22nd to the 28th? What do they need to know about their uh, love interest? Children. Yeah, so kids are a factor. Triangle. There you go. Triangle. Maybe it's... Maybe it's your... If you have children, the baby daddy, baby mama, whoever is something that's causing distrust. It says triangle. There, there's definitely more than... There's more than one person after you, Taurus. And it says new love, and it says there's... It looks like somebody who's keeping a secret. Like it's a, it's a, something during that week that some new person is going to try to step up. Maybe they've been watching you for a while and they're going to make some kind of love offer or pretend that they're your friend and try to communicate or something. And then the other person's going to see it and that's going to be a problem. So be super compassionate about how you handle things because okay, so we've got young female travel passion so young female speaks to either like you know a young female who lives in the basement somewhere with their parents house whatever or it can speak to the person who's involved in this reading it could be a younger female or it can speak to being immature travel long distance is indicated and passion again we got oh, passion so some passionate long distance relationship and a younger female being involved. Family again. Okay, so let's get a card for... Um, what is this? Can we clarify honesty is essential? What an energy is that? Who is this person for Taurus? Honesty is... Oh my God. Long distance. Twin flame. Somebody long distance. Honesty is... So there's some kind of deception with somebody long distance. Can you get one more for honesty is essential? Okay. Work. Open relationship. Oh. Control. What is Taurus doing in Love and Nomads? What is Taurus's attitude towards a person? What is Taurus up to? What's Taurus's attitude toward their person? Ice King. So Taurus is an Ice King. Karma. And the Ice King is literally the King of Swords. Can we get a card for Taurus? What card represents Taurus in this? What card rep mature man, man? Yeah, this is for, I, and I don't like to say this, dating queen is on the bottom. So when I did this reading, I was assuming it's for a female because usually I say like it doesn't really matter. And, you know, if any of this resonates for some of you, it might, other than for somebody out there, very specifically a male, it, this is for a Taurus male. For the most part, this reading. And it's saying you got these three cards representing them. Ice King, Mature Man, and the King of Swords. So what it's saying to this Taurus that this reading is for, it's saying that you are waiting for somebody. You're, you're ready to commit to somebody. There's an offer of love coming in, but there's major distrust. And that it can be worked through. There's children involved. You could probably be the one with kids. They could have kids too. But you're, you're dealing with somebody who's a dating queen. Okay. And it could be long distance. And you're deal. It, it looks like um, 
for you, even though there's true love and stuff, there's this heartbreak and jealousy and kind of like holding back from this person. Um, I'm going to do a final card. Let's do Journey of Love. Final card for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 22nd to the 28th. What's the final card? What's the final card? What's the final card? What's the final card for Taurus, please? For April 22nd to the 28th, what's the final card? What's the final card for Taurus? April 22nd to the 28th, final card for Taurus. What's the final card for Taurus? Okay, Guardian of the Soul Family and Eruption of Light. And on the bottom, we've got Burning Hero. Oh my. 26. Oh geez. You are being drawn to kindred spirits in this physical world by loving guardians in the spiritual worlds. If you feel you are leaving relationships behind, do not be afraid. The space that such courageous action creates is sometimes necessary in order to have room for the new to enter your sphere of consciousness. You may also feel that somehow a relationship that seemed to be held back from you is now becoming available to you. There is a great soul love calling you into more intimate connection now. It is sanctioned by the divine. It is a karmic destiny to fulfill. There is love that you are to experience in connection with particular souls pre predetermined by the divine plan. If you are struggling to feel the sole purpose in your current relationships, take heart for you are being helped by divine guardians who understand and support the sacred purpose of your relationships. Be open to current relationships healing, whether that means improved communication and enriched experience or the realization that you have traveled as far as you can together. And know that new relationships are going to be an important aspect of your spiritual destiny being fulfilled. Trust in the divine timing of your life and open your heart to the guardians who help you with unconditional love now. The guidance of this oracle for you is that relationship healing is taking place. In present relationships unfolding, in attracting the right relationships for your future growth, and in leaving behind relationships of the past with a peaceful heart. Be gentle with your heart, beloved. All is well. And then there's a little poem says, when I open my heart, you cover me with a blanket of love and warm the silence with your caress. Words unspoken say it all as we become more than we are alone. And then we have number 11. Eruption of light. Your every prayer is a power-packed eruption of light beamed into the divine presence. Some pray with fear or doubt as though the prayer is not doing much at all. Yet you understand that prayer is powerful, that it is divine action set in motion. Your power of divine prayer emerges from your heart and out your throat, whether out through your throat. Whether you speak or sing your prayer silently within your own mind or aloud for all the world to hear, let your prayers be vocalized as feeling expressed to the divine in words or song if you choose. You have the power to heal at your fingertips and vocal cords. Through your voice, you can heal. Let your hands be joined in prayer position at your heart and your mouth open to let the breath of your spirit move through your throat, creating sound. As you speak it, so shall it be. This oracle holds a message for you. Your words have more power than you may realize, and you have a special ability to heal with words to bring light where there is where it's needed, and to uplift through simple kindness spoken. You also have a message to bring. It might be an urge to write or speak on topics that are close to your heart. You may also simply have the need at a soul level to share from the heart with others when you are engaged in conversations. The oracle says your voice is part of your power. Do use it. And then the poem is three sentences. As life begins with love, to complete itself again, symmetry is born. So... That's your reading, Taurus. It's for some male Taurus out there. It's showing an open relationship, letting go of relationships, healing relationships. You've got a lot on your plate. You've got you've got more than one person. There is true love here. 
and it's showing that there is healing going on. And there's somebody also that um, I, I feel like it's you who's crushing on, right? And, and that you had they they don't know. Like she can sense there's this person approaching. She like look at these true love and heartbreak. It's 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 showing that there's healing though. Healing in, in the um, reconciliation. And, and there is reconciliation here with this energy. This looks like a Taurus who's got options. And you've got King of Swords and the Ice King and the Mature Man, which speaks to you having the maturity and the experience um, to manifest in love and romance. But you don't easily get carried away. But it looks like you've got quite a few options here, right, that are that are interesting you, that you want to pursue. And it also shows that you're someone who's very spiritual. Children also are involved, so you, you may have kids. Um, what is it saying? Finally, there is a true love. And there's long distance, work, open relationship, control issues, a love triangle. There's more than one person that you're dealing with. And even here with the love triangle and the triangle here, it just looks like uh, you need to make a choice. And I know it's a female here, but this is definitely you. I asked like three times what, what this Taurus is. Someone spiritual, someone who's a man, and somebody who's trying to reconcile with someone. It's a true love situation. It's also a love triangle. And there's like an open relationship thing, and it, it's, it's a little messy. All right, that's your reading, Taurus. I'll be back with your next week's readings. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye for now.